Good evening and welcome to the podcast for the Sabres Canadians game. Um, man, I really need to come up with a better transition to get into talking about the game because I just sit here and go uh, for about three seconds. Right. It was a very methodical, grinded out type game, a chess match, as Ryan Miller likes to call it, uh, where the Sabres, both the Sabres and the Canadians played very safe, sound defensive hockey, uh, just looking for that maybe one or two opportunities that would swing the game, and the Sabres were the team that found them and won 2 nothing. Nathan Kirby uh, had a hell of a game. He had both goals. He made P.K. Subban look like a little girl uh, at the end of the game to score the empty netter, and good for him. Uh, probably about 20 games into the season, I was ready to send him packing. Uh, his shot selection wasn't good. He seemed to be playing an AHL game. Uh, he's completely ineffective on the ice and just really not bringing anything to the team at that point. And he's he's really come around lately. I still think that his shot selection could use a little bit of work. I, I think that he could look to pass on some of these 30, 40 foot wristers he's putting on goalies. But the effort that he's giving is uh, resulting in points for him, and uh, he looks like he might actually have a place on the Sabres for the long haul, uh, especially on that line with Gossett and Mankari, which the, the second I saw that line, I told my girlfriend, I said, I like the look of that line, and uh, they've put up quite a few points uh, over the last few games. I know uh, Mankari's put up points, uh, Goss maybe has an assist or two, and Gerby's been putting up points, and uh, that line just seems to really click together. Um, moving on, uh, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. It really wasn't that. It wasn't a boring game, but it wasn't an exciting game either. It was just a uh, just a chess match, I guess. So I uh, will get right into my three stars of three black holes. Uh, I think the first star has got to be Nathan Gerby, um, as much as Ryan Miller played a hell of a game. Uh, Nathan Gerby did just as much as Miller uh, in terms of deciding the outcome. Uh, both goals of the game, uh, just great effort by Gerby. So he gets the first star. The second star is going to be Miller. I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, goalie gets a shutout. He's, he's got to get one of the stars, usually the top star, but I uh, decided that Gerby was maybe a little bit more deserving today. Uh, third star, I would, uh, I'll split it between Tyler Myers and Andre Sakara, who had a great bounce back game uh, from their pretty pathetic effort against Nashville. Uh, good to see those guys get back on track and back on track quickly. So I will split that third star. Uh, they had an assist each. Uh, black holes. Gee, who do you get black holes in a shutout? Um, I will give the first black hole to Tim Connolly. Uh, no goals, no assists, even rating, no shots, uh, and a lovely giveaway. Okay, great job, Connolly. Um, yeah, didn't need him tonight, uh, but didn't do much either. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe maybe you can give him a little bit of credit for playing well at the penalty kill and defensively, but uh, you'd like to see him at least get a shot on goal, maybe. Uh, and uh, for that reason, Jason Pominville, for those similar reasons, Jason Pominville is going to get the second black hole. Uh, an over on the stat sheet, did have one shot on goal. Uh, also played pretty well on the penalty kill, um, I think. Yeah, played pretty well on the penalty kill. But uh, just, uh, yeah, maybe that's the result of uh, the type of game it was. Maybe I shouldn't be giving out any of these, uh, quite honestly. Um, you know what? Let's do that. 2 nothing game, no black holes. Uh, nothing. Uh, we'll call that uh, as close to a perfect game as you can get for the Sabres. Uh, they're great defensively. They had the offense that they needed to win. Uh, didn't score three goals, didn't have to, so uh, no black holes for that game. Uh, just uh, 
applaud a good all-around effort by the Sabres, and I won't have to hear uh, people telling me that I'm, I'm too negative. <laughs> so, uh, great job. The Sabres will be in action on Friday. I will be in the building. That game starts at, I believe, 7.30. That is correct. 7.30 p.m. start against the Florida Panthers. And a uh, couple days of rest should uh, against a team that has nothing to play for. Um... Yeah, should be a good good uh, opportunity for Buffalo to pick up another two points, and hopefully we can get some help uh, around the league uh, on the way to that. So I will see some of you on Friday, and uh, that will be all for tonight.